And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Friday, May 29th, 2020. Now let's go to Mr. Bardoni. Good morning, Patriots! Good morning, everyone. This is Mr. Bardoni and my daughter Aiko Hi, here. I'm so excited to be back. And since today is Friday, what are we doing today? Thank you, Note. Thank you, Note. So let's begin. Go. <sighs> Thank you, Miss Rosa, for being such an amazing uh, teaching partner. I loved working with you. Thank you for your first grade team, for everything. This was a great experience. You're all amazing. I am sad that this year is coming to an end, Miss Gardner. Thank you to the Patriot family and to all the hardworking uh, parents and family members that helped guide your scholars through this time. Ms. Kuttner. Thank you, second grade team. I am grateful to work with such a close-knit group and excited that next year we'll be working together again. You guys have been incredibly supportive with each other. I can't wait to hug you all soon. Miss Miguel. Thank you to the third grade team for being such an amazing group to work with and extremely supportive. Thank you, Miss Milholm, as well. Miss Jimenez. Thank you, Miss Carter, for being an awesome partner. I appreciate how our friendship has bloomed during this year. Miss Gonzalez. Thank you, Dante Thomas, for going above and beyond to not only help your peers, but me as well, and for never allowing your circumstances to get in the way of your learning. Thank you for being an amazing student, Miss Stone. Thank you, Miss Hendrickson for being a great teaching partner. It was a great experience working with you, Mr. Santiago. Thank you, Chanel Mitchell, for being RPTV's biggest supporter, Mr. Santiago. Thank you, Ms. Maxwell, for always being on top of getting things done. Miss Brown. Thank you, Camila Arias and Alexa Sanchez for persevering through this school year and for excelling and always being there for one another. Love you both, Miss Silvera. Thank you, Christopher Petit. Petit. For doing a great job this year, Miss Moraz. Thank you, Rihanna Chisholm, for these past two years. You're an amazing young lady and dedic and very dedicated. It has been an honor to work with you. Never change. I wish you the best in your transition to high school, Miss Devrose. Thank you, Mr. Verdier, for opening your doors to me and giving me the opportunity. Thank you for being such a big supporter and extremely patient. It is a joy and honor to have you as my principal, Miss Merkel. Yay! 
Thank you to the ESC team and the providers for being a fantastic group of professional individuals who care about their scholars as if they were their own. I wholeheartedly believe we made a difference in their lives. I have been blessed to work with all of you. Never change. Miss Santiago. Thank you, CRT Blanco, Miss Tucker, and Miss Cavell. If it wasn't for you, where would I be? You have answered all my questions so gracefully. Thank you for your thank you wholeheartedly, Miss Milholm. Thank, thank you to the RPTV crew for making this year's broadcast amazing and continuing to do this from your home. All of your segments were great. I appreciate all of you and your hard work. Thank you. Thank you to our RPTV producer, Danielle Santiago, for leading this team through its ups and downs to create something better than I could have imagined in its first year. You will be missed and, lay and leave some big shoes to fill. We will make you proud. Good luck next year. Thank you again. Thank you to all that are involved in our school, from faculty members, to facilities, to front office, parents, teachers, and students, for making this school year amazing through its ups and downs. You truly make our school better every year. Have a restful and safe summer. We will look forward to seeing you next year in August. We will miss you. Have a great end of year and a great summer. Bye, everyone. My birthday is on August 23. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Radoni. That was great. Now let's go to Jane to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Danielle. Today in history, on May 29, 1916, the official flag of the President of the United States was, was adopted. Now let's go to Nathaniel to see what to do today for boarding stuck indoors. Thank you, Jaden. Hello, Patriots family. What will Dix do of your board? For today's activity, we're going to be making a fox puppet. Here are the steps. An orange bit of paper, a black marker, some scissors, glue, and a white paper. Take your orange paper and fold in one corner of it. Then open it up and fold up the bottom. Then fold the previous corner over it and then turn over your paper. Repeat with the white paper. Then fold the corner of your paper inwards and then do the same thing with the other side. Glue one side over the other to get your fox's head. Repeat this on the white paper. Cut off any excess and then take your scissors and trim the top of your white paper so that it is flat. You can use a piece of the white paper that you cut off to put it together or you can use tape. Then cut out a large circle for your nose. Next, cut out three whiskers. Color your circle black. And don't forget to also color the whiskers. Trim if it's too big. Then glue the whiskers to the nose. Next, glue it to your fox. Then don't forget to make some eyes. Make sure you add some ears. Cut out some white paper and some orange triangles and glue the white triangles to the orange triangles. Then take the glue and glue the ears onto the fox. 
they're all done. Wow, wasn't that great? Now you have an awesome puppet to play with. And thank you to Jaden for his peacock craft. Well, it's been fun, Patriots family. But this is our last DIY. Remember, stay creative. And let's go back to Danielle. Thank you, Nathaniel. Now let's go to weather with Vani. Thank you, Danielle. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecasted to be 88 degrees Fahrenheit and scattered thunderstorms. Now, let's go back to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, Vani, and here's his joke of the day. A little boy goes into a pet store and asks the store owner for some bird seed. The owner asks, how many birds do you have? The boy replies, none yet. I need the seeds to grow them. <laughs> now let's go back to the young. Sammy, you really know how to pick the best ones. In admin announcements, teachers, please be on your remote page to welcome your scholars in in the morning. Attendance must be taken at some point each day. And lastly, teachers, please don't forget to provide our scholars with positive hero points. Patriots, don't forget your pet's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats! Mr. Santiago, Ms. Mraz, Mrs. Kuttner, Ms. Silvera, Ms. Tucker. You had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, how can the pant pocket be empty and still have something in it? The correct answer to the riddle was, it has a hole in it or it is an air pocket. Now for today's riddle. I have branches but no fruit, trunks or leaves. What am I? Once again, I have branches but no fruit, trunks or leaves. What am I? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your responses to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend. And remember, reset your mindset. Have a great day.